Do you know what is depression? And do you know that there is a really big concern in the medical community and in the world because all the mental problems and all mental diseases are rising and it's been skyrocketed even more after COVID. But this is something that it's really, really bringing a lot of concern to us, to physicians who are parents, brothers, neighbors, friends, because we see all the time a lot of people suffering from chronic depression. But do you know that there are organic causes of depression? That it's not just something of feeling depressed. It's not something just that you feel because of the way you relate with the exterior. There are causes that are within our system in which my system can be affecting my brain so I can start feeling depressed. In this video, it's about this. So I'm gonna tell you some of the nutrients that you need to be aware that you might be deficient or insufficient in a way that you might be affecting your brain to start feeling depression. And there are also things that you need to incorporate in within your lifestyle that are very important, very necessary before you start seeing or before you start thinking that the only thing that you need to do is to take an antidepressant because it could be part of the treatment, but it's not gonna be all of the treatment. You can go to therapy for sure, but you need to start looking at other things that for sure are going to be very important and very necessary. So depression is a mental disorder that affects a person's mood, thoughts and behavior, leading to persistent feelings of sadness, loss of interest in daily activities and a variety of other emotion and physical emotions. The diagnostic criteria is when we have all of these symptoms for an extended period of time and these symptoms such as sadness, loss of interest, changes in appetite or changes in weight due to the changes in appetite, sleep disturbances, fatigue, feeling guilt or worthlessness, having a difficulty concentrating or and having thoughts of death. This is something that it's very, very common. Which are the signs and symptoms? They can be very, very different. I just told you, when you start seeing someone like this, or when you start feeling like this on your own, maybe you can start seeing that probably you have depression. And on the causes, there are a lot of causes. There are a lot. There are some genetic factors that have been identified. There are chemical imbalances that have been identified for sure in the brain. Stress is something that it leads directly to depression. When people have substance abuse of any kind, even food abuse can lead to depression and leads to depression to a lot of people. There are physical health issues like losing a limb or losing something, losing an eye, that might lead to depression. For sure, there are uh, clinical conditions that just by the fact of being ill, it's going to lead to depression. But again, this video is intended to be of those organic causes that may be leading to depression. What are the complications from depression? A lot. People get all, all different kinds of complications from not being able to cope with, the, with their spouse, not being able to have a social life, not being able to work, or having the complication that some people start having death ideas. And this is something that we really need to be talking about this because this is very, very important. The diagnosis needs to be done, of course, by a professional, by a psychologist or by a medical professional based on the statistics of the manual of mental disorders. So for that, those criteria are the ones in which uh, your healthcare provider is the one that's going to be able to make this diagnosis. But again, this was just a little wrap up of what are those, what is the condition and what is about it. But again, is there a way in which I can make my brain feel depressed by something organic, but something that it's going on in my body? Yes. When I'm chronically stressed, when I'm chronically deprivated of sleep, when I'm not sleeping well, but also if I'm not eating well, because I'm not getting the right amount of nutrients. I can have a lack of nutrients that be, can be causing depression or I can have conditions in which nutrients are going to aim so I can heal from depression faster and in which my brain is going to start working better so I can start working with my therapist 
so solutions start coming better. So there is the role of some vitamins in causing depression or as a part of the treatment for depression. And there is one vitamin, it's not the most important, but is there is one vitamin in which people talk a lot and it's thiamine, which is vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 may be linked to depression due to its role in the brain and in the nervous system energy metabolism. And it's something that we see all the time. Thiamine is crucial for the proper brain function and it can be found in foods such as whole grains, legumes, pork, and nuts. But this is not the only vitamin that you should be taking into account. There are other vitamins and there are other nutrients that we also need to take into account. So we need to remember that vitamin D, it's also associated with greater risk of depression and anxiety. So this is something that we need to evaluate and we need to go and see in your blood if you have a deficiency of vitamin D. We need to remember that there are other vitamins of the B complex and folate, it's extremely important. There are patients that have genetic conditions in which they have processes such as methylation, and it's a very interesting process going on in most of our cells. It makes them have chronic symptoms of depression. They can also have hallucinations and have a lot of mental conditions. And this is treated with good levels of folate. Folate is the active way of folic acid. There is also a relationship with vitamin B12. Low levels of vitamin B12 in patients that don't have a stomach or when they have treatments for gastritis for a long period of time with omeprazole, pentoprazole, or any of these other PPIs. When people have a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet and they don't take vitamin B12, they are going to be deficient 100%. When people have chronic deficiency in vitamin B12, they need to replace it. Otherwise, they are going to have mental conditions or they can also have peripheral nervous system conditions and, and symptoms such as twitchings, cramps, alterations in the in the feeling or, or the sensation in your limbs or any part of your body. And we need to remember that there are other nutrients and not just vitamins that can help with this and that can be linked on the deficiency and the first one is omega-3. Omega-3 is linked to a lot of conditions on the brain, on the heart, on inflammation, with cancer, with everything. But we, today, we take a lot of omega-6 coming from canola oil, seed oils, and all of this food that I don't recommend at all. And we consume very, very little amounts of omega-3. We need to remember that the relationship in between omega-3 and omega-6, it needs to be in between one to one. Right now we have relationships that go 25 to one because we're taking a lot of canola, cottonseed oil, corn oil, and all of these oils and very little amounts of omega-3. First of all, we need to remember to lower the consumption of these, maybe use more olive oil, a little bit of butter, a little bit of coconut oil, and to increase the consumption of omega-3 in the different ways in which you can consume omega-3. The other deficiency that it's very, very common is a magnesium deficiency. Why? Because we get magnesium especially from chocolate, from plants, from nuts and seeds, but especially from plants, leafy greens. But right now, most of the people don't take leafy greens because they have the standard American diet, but also because on the soil, by monocropping, soil doesn't have all the minerals it, it used to have. So right now, all these veggies, when they get the minerals from the soil, they cannot find anything at all, so they cannot incorporate all the proper levels as they should. So we're not taking in, in, the, in the world there is a chronic magnesium deficiency and we need to be looking at the symptoms of, on patients and having chronic depression can for sure be one of these. The last but not the least is zinc deficiency because zinc deficiency can be linked to mood disorders but also zinc deficiency might be linked to thyroid problems. And when people have hypothyroidism because of nutritional deficiencies, low vitamin D, low zinc, low selenium, low magnesium, when people have thyroid problems, they can feel depressed. And maybe the problem is not chronic depression, it's hypothyroidism that we need to be aware of all of the symptoms and we also need to be talking to patients and measuring doing blood works in order to know what's going on. So again, there are organic conditions linked to deficiencies in the nutrients that we are not consuming properly in our diet that might lead to depression. And sometimes, not always, 
sometimes it could be a very easy treatment and again it's completely within our reach in our hands something that we can do just by having a good diet and this is part of the things that i want to teach you guys how we can make habits something scientific something close something that we can incorporate in our life something to know that the best way of doing medicine for me is when we are the owners of our health and that's something that i want to teach you slowly through the videos through conferences through books and every other thing that i can be doing in my work or in my life and this is what i do this is what i do i see patients in my office but i also like training people and helping people like you so you can start recovering that power and that power is in every single one of us before we leave please remember that the best way that you can support us is very easy just by sharing the video also by hitting the like button please remember also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and please also hit the bell so every time we make new videos you're going to be the first one to be notified thank you so much see you next time